my YouTube channel, I'm Just Gay. So today is gonna be a different type of video. This will be on top of my other mental health videos dealing with depression. I wanted to talk to you guys about my experience being on antidepressants. So yeah, this is what this whole video is gonna be about in case if you guys are curious of what my experience has been so far, this is the video in case you was thinking about starting it. Anything that I don't cover in this video, feel free to ask me in the comments below and I will get back to you. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so I have my notes right here because I don't want this to be like me jumping around from one thing to another in this video. I'm going to just be going off these notes because I know I can get on and start rambling, which is probably what I'm doing right now. But I want to start off with the reason why I started. Like, my mental state was not in the best, like, shape at all. Like, it was getting to the point. If you saw my update, you guys will know what I'm talking about, but it just was not getting any better. It was only getting worse by the day. So, I did some research on on antidepressants but I didn't go into like full like deep research like I usually do but I was just like you know what I'm gonna just go ahead and give this a try I was kind of scared of why my experience with side effects but I was like you know what I, something else gotta give something else gotta work for me because therapy obviously is not working he meditating doing all that extra day ain't working you know what I mean I'm just being straight up I'm taking sertraline which is Zoloft I just call it Zoloft but I'm taking it for my major depressive disorder this is also used for anxiety also some other conditions that's mainly why I can remember them actually kind of glad that it is for anxiety as well I do have anxiety so that's like two in one you know what so I started taking it on May 13th. She ended up starting me at the 50 milligram. So I wanted to go through the main side effects I was experiencing. I would have to say like the number one top one was nausea. Number one for me. And it lasted like a whole week. So I was either eating ginger chews, sipping on ginger ale. I even drunk some Sprite. I don't even drink Sprite. That was what was keeping my stomach settled. I mean, I didn't throw up or anything. First like couple days was the worst for me and I want to mention that I do take it in the morning I have the iOS 16 beta or is it iOS 15 I don't know one of them new iOS beta public betas they got right now and they got where you can track your medication the login the time that you take it boom bang bang so that's how I keep up with taking it every morning I have it set like for me to take it at seven o'clock every day it stays on the screen saying hey you still need to take this you're supposed to take this at seven another side effect I experienced was drowsiness diarrhea loss of appetite yeah I did lose my appetite that week that was nauseous the first week but my appetite started coming back in the second week and then it just fully came 100% back so this is Jazzy the editor I wanted to let you guys know one thing I did forget to mention when I started at 50 milligrams Instagram. I started to develop emotional blunting and that's where basically you, <laughs> you just don't care about anything I'm talking about like savage like just didn't care so when I increased to a hundred that's when it started decreasing but as soon as I hit 125 150 that's when it went on to like the back burner I still got emotional blunting but it wasn't as I don't know like obvious I guess but I just wanted to throw that in there because you can also get emotional blunting while you're on the antidepressant and I wanted to throw that in there so people don't think that I didn't experience it. So I'm going to tell you guys how I ended up at the dose that I'm at right now. So I had a follow up with my doctor on June 15th. I told her that was at 50% improvement which is a lot but I wanted to be at 100% so we ended up increasing my dose. We didn't go to 75 milligrams. We went straight to 100. Any new side effects when I increased my dose? I didn't see no difference. I think the only thing is like probably like tiredness on July 6th I did another follow-up I've been seeing her virtually but I will be going in person next week and that's when we do another follow-up getting off track let me stay on track so on July 6th I ended up telling her that I made 85% improvement so a bit difference from 50 all the way to 85 everything is going good my mental health was improving a lot but I wanted to be at 100% so we ended up increasing me to one 25 milligrams but she ended up adding the 150 in case i do want to just go ahead and go up to that in case the 125 doesn't give me that hundred percent like mouth is freaking dry 
I do know that another symptom is dry mouth. Maybe that's what I'm experiencing right now or maybe because I just smoked. I wanted to add in there that in July, my energy level has increased so much. I got a notification on my phone telling me, hey, your energy like increased like crazy in July. And I was like, yes, that's what I want to see. Improving, big improvement. I was happy about that. Woohoo, hallelujah. On August 4th, I called my dog that asked can I go ahead and start taking the 150 mg. I was like around like 90% when I started taking the 125 but I want to throw in there that you guys when you first start taking it it's gonna take a good maybe starting at two weeks you might feel a difference but really for like the max I'll say a month to six weeks is when you start really feeling the change and then you can see hey if you want to increase or you know decrease depending on your side effects I wanted to throw that in there because I didn't give you guys that information so I called her they called me back and she gave me the clearance to take it and you always want to to talk to your doctor first before you increase or decrease your medication. In this type of medication, you can't completely stop taking it cold turkey. Don't do that. You'll get withdrawal symptoms and it, it could get crazy. All right, so currently I'm at 150 milligrams. And I would say, yeah, I'm at 100%. My mental health has really, really improved, really improved. I mean, everything all clicked like last week, I think. It just like hit me all at once. And I was like, yo, I don't know. It just clicked. I don't know how to explain it. I know uh, people that are on antidepressants, they know what I'm talking about when you get to that point where you're like, okay, this is peace, this is happiness or whatever. But I will be real. There are some days where I'm just like, bro, I don't want to be bothered with. It's not all peaches and cream 24-7. And I had to realize that. I remember one day, you know, because I'm used to like, eh. And then one day I was like, yo, I'm not feeling it today. I don't want to be bothered with it. I don't want to talk to nobody. I'm irritated, blah, blah, blah. That's going to happen. See, I'm thinking I'm about to be happy 24-7. It don't work like that. No way I be 24-7. So I had to get that in my brain. We can talk about the current symptoms that I'm experiencing right now. I would have to say nausea here and there. But for some reason, I feel better after I eat. When I get nauseated, it's not nauseous. When I get nauseated, my bad. <laughs> that means I need to eat. If I don't eat, it's just gonna feel worse and worse, which is so weird to me because you think nausea means like, oh, you're not feeling well, blah, blah, blah. But as soon as I get some food in my stomach, man, I'm feeling so much better. I just noticed that like, a couple weeks ago. I was like, oh, yeah, nausea, that means I need to eat. I eat and I'd be better. I don't know if anybody else experienced that. One thing I want to throw in there, you can take this either in the morning or before bed. Sometimes it works better for people before bed, but me, I'm just the type of person that wants to get over with. Like in the morning, I ain't got worried about it no more. Right now, how I'm feeling, I'm feeling really, really good. I do look back on how I was before I started this medication. It just makes you reflect on how you were then, and how you are now, and what's gonna happen in the future. That's the person I used to be, this is the person I am now. I'm growing so now I just push myself to be the best version of myself each and every day if I go out in public I'm gonna make sure I do something to help somebody in a way if that's complimenting them you know given well, they can't see my smile kind of wear my mask but you know I just try to find ways to make somebody else day better or for a second any big I made day all day just like oh wow that was a really good person you know what I mean the last thing I'm gonna share is that it starts off rough but I'm telling you it is worth it and I know a lot of people are scared to try because of the side effects but I'm telling you my doctor recommended so lot for me she was like that's the best one she just had other patients that had good experience with it so that's why she recommended it for me to take it I just say it's just trial and error you try it out and see if it improves if not then they'll switch you to one day that works best for you so lot it helps me but that don't mean it might help the next person so yeah you guys I hope this video was helpful for you don't forget to leave your question in the comments below tell me guys what you think your experience if you are an antidepressant, share your story below. I love to read them and how they're helping you. Or if it didn't help you, your experience, negative or positive, I would love to read it. Stay safe and I love you. I will see you next video. Alright you guys, I forgot to put Chester at the end of the video. Chester, cool. Hey puppy, look. Oh, let's see. Hey puppy, puppy. She brought it, Jazzy King, puppy. Bye. <laughs> I gotta get those eye boogers. And your brush stay. But it's okay. I still love you.